forging cyber. Forging cyber security. Secure Ninja. Hey everyone, I'm Alicia Webb with Secure Ninja TV. Now we have been out here in Las Vegas at both Black Hat and DEF CON all week. So we've had some great opportunities to talk to professional hackers and cybersecurity experts. So we decided to ask them, what exactly does it take to develop a career in cybersecurity and what's it like having a career in cybersecurity? So here is some collective knowledge from the professional community. Enjoy. Um, I've been in the security industry for about 17 years. Um, really started out my career in you know, doing security architecture, security design, a lot of firewall installations in the 90s, um, and got into penetration testing um, in the late 90s. Um, did that for a, for a period of time, and then flipped over and started doing incident response. You know, as I became proficient at doing penetration testing, um, I could use those skills to detect um, when attackers were getting into environments. And so worked on some very large, high-profile data breach investigations, got a lot of experience there, um, and then really started managing people. And so this is sort of the progression. You sort of have to choose as, a, as, as your progression. Do you want to stay really deep technical um, or do you want to do different things? And so I really started to enjoy um, you know, you know, helping people, other people build their careers. And so hiring people, hiring people fresh out of school, um, giving them guidelines, giving them guidance um, in order to build their careers and give them paths to go um, and, and making them happy. And so like the biggest thing I think from a career choice perspective perspective, if you don't love what you're doing, don't do it. Um, find something that you really enjoy, that you want to wake up every morning and be excited about going and doing, um, and then you really see your career, career progress. When I first started in, in the company, I used to do everything. I used to do sales, I used to, the, uh, uh, I used to do support, I used to uh, help customers implement the solution. So when we grew enough and, and when I had time to decide what I wanted to do in the company, we decided that we really needed like a, a, a labs, a, a research team that could basically help the company to be on, 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 on the top and, and being on the edge of all the new technologies and new capabilities to detect new threats. So that's how I ended up like creating this, this new department. Nice. Do you like working in cybersecurity? Yeah, I mean it, it has been what I wanted to do my whole life, so since, since I was a child I I, I was always, you know, like uh, learning by myself, like learning how to program, learning how to hack from my home. So in the end, this is what I really wanted to do with, with my life. So I'm pretty happy. <laughs> I started out doing computer programming and systems analysis, and I had a knack for tearing apart code, analyzing problems, and that ability is something that lends itself very well to the security side of the business. Kind of like having that detective mind. If you're inquisitive, you don't like letting a problem just sit and lie, you, you stay up until you solve it, then usually you have a good uh, mind for the security industry. For those that are looking to try to get in the industry, you know, and like, like I would tell my son, Danny, uh, this is something that has got to be your number one priority it's something that you have to love doing because to just be average at this is going to get you or your organization owned because you have to be diligent. This has got to be your passion and that's that's probably the, the number one thing. I mean, they say it takes about 10,000 hours to master any skill. So there's many different skills in cybersecurity. Pick something that you love of that. I guess the CISSP says there's like 10 common bodies of knowledge or something along those lines, right? Well, that's a lot to know. Um, I, I, for one, like forensics and malware and, of course, mobile. And uh, this is what I spend the majority of my time with every, all day, every day. I'm up about 5 a.m. and I'll probably go to bed on average around midnight every night. So every once in a while I have to crash. But, you know, we're pretty much talking that I've got about five hours of sleep because... I go to bed thinking about cybersecurity and I wake up going, what happened while I was asleep? <laughs> it's just something that I, you know, I love doing. It's important that they understand everything uh, from operating systems to network, uh, to math, uh, to algorithms, and that is going to give them a, a really good base that they can use to develop new, new capabilities uh, and learn new things, uh, uh, not only related to cybersecurity, but any other field in computer science. So I really recommend them to have all a really good base and then uh, uh, learning uh, cybersecurity will be much more easier. Right. So a well-rounded skill set. That makes sense. It definitely takes some education and work. You have to learn the systems. Uh, 
it's never ending. So every time new advances in operating systems come out, the game starts all over again. So you're going to have to stay on top of technology, but one of the more important parts is being able to tie the technology in with the business and understand the business is trying to run their operation, sell their product, make their, you know, manufacture their car, and security is secondary to that, that critical mission. We're there to help them solve that problem. So keeping up on industry, so when I got my programming degrees and things like that, I immediately started looking to get a degree in business. So I got my four-year degree on business administration so I could understand those sides. Then I went back to the technical side and got a master's degree in network security. And then I've just kept my certifications and knowledge current to help me stay on top of the industry. I pretty much decided a long time ago that I wanted to be in this field. This was what I love doing. I, I wake up every day and this is, this is why it doesn't matter what day it is. It doesn't matter if I'm on vacation because the bad guys don't sleep. So they, they would actually prefer me to be on sleep. They would prefer me to be on vacation because they're, they're, they're persistent. That's why it's called an advanced persistent threat. They're not going to stop. Um, you know, so I ch decided that I was going to do my doctorate because I wanted to learn how to do professional research and because I didn't feel like I did that well and so the doctorate taught me how to do those things. From an education standpoint, um, I know it's really tough sometimes for people to choose between finishing their, uh, finishing their bachelor's degree or finishing their college education um, versus jumping off into, into, the, into the real world. Um, I even know when I was going to school in the late 90s or actually the mid 90s, um, this was right when the dot-com world was popping up. And I actually had some friends um, who were in college with me who left school early and took jobs at places, took jobs at places like Netscape and other places that um, would have been great, you know, you know, I think financially for me to have left, but I think you know, finishing your degree um, and getting a well-rounded you know, Bachelor of Science in Computer Science or, or with a minor in business, or I even minored in philosophy, which is completely you know, different than, you know, than a lot of people do. Um, getting that foundation, I think, is key. Um, and then once you're actually done with school, Getting a job is really important. I know some people say I'm going to hold out for that perfect job, um, but even if you don't love the job at first, I think getting that business experience is extremely important because it's very different than your college life. Um, and learning how to interact with people, learning how to have meetings, how to have business meetings, learning how to like answer to a boss um, other than when you worked at like the pizza restaurant, you know, you know those types of things. Um, that's extremely important. So as you then, you know, you, as you build your skills and build towards exactly what you want to do, it's important to really get that foundation. Even if it's for a year or so, it's better than just sitting around and, um, and, and getting, you know, even career you know, atrophy, you know, you, know you, you lose things right away. Even if you go from school to nothing for a year, um, you should just get a job. And, and your parents will thank me for that, for that advice as well. Well, I hope you found that helpful. We thought it was some really great advice. Don't forget, Secure Ninja TV can help you jumpstart your career in cybersecurity with our free online training, as well as these interviews we do all around the world with cybersecurity professionals. There's a lot of great knowledge in this YouTube channel, so make sure you subscribe. Also, follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. I'm Alicia Webb. Thank you so much for watching. Secure Ninja TV is brought to you by SecureNinja.com, a world leader in cybersecurity training and certification. Our master instructors will help build you into a highly skilled and marketable security professional. Secure Ninja, forging cybersecurity experts.